The Steam Summer Sale contains as many titles as there are stars, so let your local game dealer cut through the stack and show you a bunch of games that are currently on sale that you might not know. If Doom Guy decided to take a holiday to the eight hells and synchronize all of his shots to an incredible OST, you'd get Metal Hellsinger. A game that makes you headbang ferociously, which is a blessing and a curse. It's hard to aim while headbanging after all. Noita is an absolute gem of a roguelite, set in a world where every single pixel is physically simulated, really allowing you to approach it as you'd like. Fight, burn, melt, freeze, or evaporate your way through the levels using spells you personally created by mixing and matching effects. Superliminal is a perception-bending, mind-melting first-person puzzler where you need to escape a surreal dream world by solving puzzles using the power of depth and perspective. This is easily one of the most satisfying games you'll ever play, and when it clicks, it is amazing. Genji has decided to take a holiday up a giant post-apocalyptic cyberpunk tower in Ghost Runner. This game is an insanely fast-paced slasher which will see you cyber parkouring up a tower to overthrow its tyrannical keymaster. Celeste is hands down one of the most gorgeous and satisfying platformers to date. Challenge your inner demons on this long and semi-difficult journey to the mountaintops. An excellent game if you don't mind failing quite a bit. If you somehow haven't played Subnautica, now's the time to dive into the alien underwater world. You probably won't be playing this if you have a fear of the deep ocean, but if you can brave its depth, Subnautica is easily one of the best survival games out there. Spirit Ferret is a game all about letting go. Play as Stella, boatman to the River Styx, who has the not-so-simple job of fulfilling souls and then shipping them off to the afterlife. This one's an emotional and beautiful journey that I highly recommend if you don't mind crying a little bit. Become a ruthless cult leader or a brutal overlord as you fight to keep humanity and your city alive in Frostpunk, an incredible and challenging city builder survival hybrid that will see you more than likely being deposed and thrown out in the snow to freeze to death. Put yourself in the shoes of Jesse Faden, who is searching for their long-lost brother that was taken by an underground organization in control. If you love the SCP universe and mind-bending stories, then this is one single-player story game you really gotta try. Play as a slug cat that was separated from their family after a devastating flood in Rainworld. Persist in the dangerous ecosystem by combining survival mechanics, platforming, tactical avoidance abilities, and a good choice of culinary decisions to keep your stomach satisfied and you out of the jaws of ravenous predators. Kingdom Come Deliverance will quench your thirst if you're hunting for a good medieval open world RPG game. You play as Henry, the son of a blacksmith who doesn't last very long in the game, as you're immediately thrust into a brutal civil war only to help watch on as your village is deleted from the face of the earth, and of course, now you're out on a revenge mission to rectify the wrongs done to you. When it comes to games that are actually just interactive art, I think of Grizz immediately. Follow a hopeful young girl with a magical dress that was manifested by her sorrow to aid her in traveling through a fading world in order to perhaps see it anew. Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice is a game that I would not recommend if you have crippling anxiety. But if you're prepared to get bombarded with ASMR that calls you a failure more than your own family, this is an immaculate Viking adventure into Helheim that tackles themes of psychosis. In Sound Mind is one of those hidden Steam gems and it's currently 90% off so there's literally nothing to lose. It's a unique first person psychological horror with frenetic puzzles and unique boss fights all wrapped up in an original soundtrack by the Living Tombstone, which in its itself is worth the money. Hunting for an ARPG that isn't Diablo or Path of Exile? Well, say hello to Grim Dawn. Step into the apocalyptic fantasy world with an iron deficiency and then unleash torrents of destruction upon anything in eyesight. In terms of ARPGs, this is quality right up there with the best of them. Monster Train is a strategic roguelike deck builder set on a train to hell where you have to make big brain plays along with some wicked card crafting to defend multiple vertical battlegrounds simultaneously. This game may just be the new goal Gold standard for card-based roguelikes, in fact. The Room series is an absolute treat for puzzle fans, featuring four games which are all heavily discounted, some being as cheap as 50 cents to grab right now. These games are immensely satisfying point-and-click puzzle adventures that'll keep you well and truly occupied for many an hour. Limbo is one of the best puzzle platformers to ever grace the genre without question, and it's currently only one dollar. You'll take the role of a young boy who's uncertain of the fate befallen upon his dear sister, and for that reason, he plunges into the black and white Limbo. Cluster Truck is an all-out adrenaline and parkour action game that takes place upon trucks operated by the worst drivers you've ever seen in your life. 
The floor is lava, the trucks are crazy, and you are in for a whole lot of chaos. Whoever decided to put this particular ape in confinement is coming to rapidly regret it. Ape Out is a game all about escaping confinement in a top-down smash em up which I could probably include several jokes about Harambe, but it's 2023, goddammit. Similar to Limbo Inside is another one of the best puzzle platformers out there, period. It's a very dark, unsettling, narrative-driven platformer about a small boy who's found himself in the center of an ominous project. He's also decided to wear a goddamn red shirt, which really doesn't help in his chances of being stealthy. And there you have it, a bunch of games in this year's Steam Summer Sale that you might not have already known. Let me know if any of these interest you, though. Honestly, I'd be, I'd be interested to hear it. Thanks for watching, follow the channel, and I'll see you back here shortly.